Forest Forest Service issuing a new warning to snowmobilers tonight. Stay out of the wilderness or face a big ticket. And it comes as officers see more and more people venturing outside of designated areas near Steamboat Springs. Lots of ones Evan Krugel riding along with law enforcement. He, he's in the studio now, though, with what they found. Evan. Yeah, Erica. So here's the area of concern. This popular snowmobiling area outside of Steamboat Springs. You can see this brown area here. That's a huge area that's open to those vehicles. But these blue and green areas, those are off limits. It's the peace and tranquility that draws so many to Grand County, a rare place in our busy world where one can escape to find total silence. But preserving this peace and quiet requires a little bit of noise. The problem solvers riding along with Lauren Ransom and Steve McComb on patrol for the U.S. Forest Service. Sometimes you'll see tracks from Quite a ways out. Every weekend, they're out searching for snowmobiles, leaving the trail. We're getting close to where they go in quite a bit. Within minutes, we find tracks. Could be two people up in there. Two snowmobilers heading into the Mount Zirkel wilderness. We want to keep ev anything and everything modern out of the wilderness. Lauren Ransom is a law enforcement officer tasked with preserving these untrampled areas, designated by Congress more than 50 years ago to be off limits to activity like this. You might not be causing any damage, but you might drop a wrapper, you might have an oil leak. And so anything that's modern is just supposed to not be in the wilderness. But with hundreds of miles to patrol, enforcing this is no easy task. The problem solvers finding only a few dozen tickets are actually issued every year. We've got a lot of miles of boundary and it's it's pretty tough to you know, get to all of it. McCone and Ransom say when they do catch people, the excuses are often the same. I've never heard of that. They didn't know where they were. I didn't see a sign. But officers say it's up to you to know where you are. A mistake that can end with a $5,000 fine. If they go blow in right by a sign, it's a it's a violation notice right then and there. McCone says it's easier than ever to know before you go with downloadable maps available at the trailhead. And it takes five seconds to download one of our maps. Hoping to preserve these incredible areas for generations to come. And it lets us be able to manage that area so that it looks the same 500 years from now as it did today. Wow. If you've ever driven over Rabbit Ears Pass, you know the area we're talking about, and it's vast. I'm struck by how huge that wilderness is. Yeah, it's absolutely enormous, and, and you can see how fast we're moving. It took us like an hour to get from one end of that area to the other, yeah. and that just gives you a scope of how difficult it is to patrol what is truly a massive, massive border there. Yeah, yeah they've got a lot of work cut out for them absolutely. for sure. Evan, thank you so much. You bet.